All right, guys, let's fish right here, guys. TV's in the back. TV's in the back. You knocked someone out in sparring, something you have yet to do at 147 pounds. How much confidence did that give you? Just a uh, uh, training, you know, uh, part of training. It, ha it happened that uh, sometimes in, in uh, training. Freddie, why do you think, and you told me, you, you think Manny Pacquiao will knock out your Dennis Ugas. Why are you so confident? We had a real good training camp. He's trained really hard for this fight. And he's, he's punched really good in, in the sparring sessions. And uh, I think putting the one sparring partner on the canvas was a motivator for all of us. And uh, we, we, we want to continue that, that type of fight. Yo, Dennis, what do you think when you hear that? Do you think he, do you think he can knock you out? No, pienso que no. Pienso que soy un competidor que estoy compitiendo de los seis años. He trabajado toda la vida por una noche como la del sábado. Y no, no. Lo siento por siento que no. I'm 100% certain he cannot knock me out. I've done all the work and all the preparation over these past six years. I've really been, you know, hitting my stride, and I don't think Manny Pacquiao can knock me out. I see you shaking your head down there, Ismael. <laughs> What do, what do you make of that, and how and why is your Dennis Ugas ready for Manny Pacquiao? Yeah, you know, okay. Uh, you know, the most important thing is uh, the level of uh, your Dennis Ugas. Is one guy coming from the Olympics for more more than 500 uh, amateur bout um, professional. When he came to us, he was with three losses. But after that, we've been doing like a 12 12 fight in the row. And the only loss it was with uh, Champ Porter. I believe everyone saw Champ Porter is a real fighter, but Champ Porter is he was in the run at that, that night. So Jordan Ugas is a very competitive guy. He's always uh, eager to fight. Uh, to fight with uh, Manny Pacquiao is fun. To me, he's a legend, and to me, he's a guy who is inspiration for new generation of fighters. Well, so much respect, but one thing for sure, look back, and he talking about KO, he long time no give KO to anyone. He been dropping people, but never KO, for long time. Hey. Ishmael, when I spoke to Derek James about Errol Spence uh, prior to you guys taking this fight, uh, he had said, you know, the biggest challenges with Manny Pacquiao is that you're going to have punches coming at you that you've never seen before. How, how have you prepared for those awkward angles of a guy like Manny Pacquiao? Either, either, either way. If you if you look back, Pacquiao, yes, he's coming for different and very nice, but Ugas as well. And also Ugas is the master to fight with Southman. So let's see who, who can see who. So the worst punch in boxing is the one you can see. Let's see. With the belts on now, yeah, absolutely. Guys, just the fighters facing up right now. Give them their belts. Yes, with the belts. Give them the belts. Let them face off with the belt. Put the belts on your shoulder. Turn and face. Step forward, Manny. Other shoulder. Manny, step forward. Other shoulder for Manny. Manny, your outside shoulder, shoulder, please. Your outside shoulder. With the belt. Other shoulder. Alright guys, let's turn it face off. Face off. Hold it. Keep back up, Andrew. Let me do that. Alright guys, guys, you wanna get the trainers in? Get it. Everyone got it? All right, thank you, gentlemen. All right, thank you.